creates enough space for everybody, both able-bodied and handicapped. And sometimes these spaces are created when you least expect to find them. <laughs> from the rubbish dump was a bugbear for many residents living in the area. As many as 900 garbage trucks made daily trips to this place. That's 500 tons of new rubbish that was deposited here every day. No, 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 I don't quite know this place. Eh? I have never heard of Lorong Halus or seen or been to Lorong Halus. Lorong Halus, no idea where it's Lorong Halus. Most Singaporeans we interviewed were not aware of where or what Lorong Halus was. That's not surprising, as landfills for rubbish are not popular attractions for tourists or locals alike. But today, the area which is tucked away in the northeastern part of Singapore has been transformed from a wasteland into the Lorong Halus wetlands creating a new recreational destination for residents. There's a transformation. Right? Um, they've made up the place really nice. With Pasiris losing a lot of greenery oh, due to development, I think this is a welcome change for us. I was aware of Lorong Hamu as a place that I should avoid. You know? But coming here, it's beautiful. I think a lot of people complain that you know, Singapore don't have places to go. But actually, there are a lot of pockets of places that we can go about. Spatting an area equivalent to 100 soccer fields, the old Lone House landfill reached its full capacity and closed down in 1999. The National Water Agency, PUB, started transforming it in 2006 as part of its active, beautiful clean waters program. The newly created Lone House wetlands finally reopened in March last year. I think for, for Lorong Halus, uh, what differentiates it from the, the Merici or even Botanical Gardens is its history. You know, I think uh, it's very interesting that uh, it did not start out as the nature park. You know, it really started out as a landfill and how uh, innovations in engineering uh, is able to then convert this place, uh, not only for um, residents to enjoy the recreation activities, but also to for Singapore to meet its ecological and resource needs. Unfortunately, still not many people know about the Long House wetlands. To raise awareness about the new recreational space, educational trails have been organized for residents to entice them to give up an afternoon at the air-conditioned shopping mall for a trek in the great Singapore outdoors. So Highlanders has always been a key target group for the Singapore Environment Council um, and we are actually hoping that uh, through the green trails uh, we are able to foster heightened concern uh, which ultimately will translate to actions um, which are in line with environment protection. Lorong Halus isn't the only place to be transformed. Just a 10 minute driveway lies the Tampanese Eco Green Park. It used to be just an empty plot of state land, but today it's another green sanctuary. Now the CDC, we are doing our part. We actually try to keep that pocket of reserve, as well as create a trail where actually residents would have a chance to understand. And I think it's important that they can get out of their home, in their surrounding, to understand that there's this different part and different face of Singapore that you don't see every day, and you might have just uh, neglected it. And I think it's important for them to take a look to know about it and also to learn how to be selected. 24-year-old Stephanie Lowe is leading the way, sharing her love of nature with fellow Singaporeans. She's conducted over 50 trails all across the island using tracks that are linked to the larger park connected network. Then is the one that separates the sea water from fresh water. Even without a guide, nature lovers, cyclists and joggers can access green spaces like Laurel Palace and Tampanese Eco Green through the park connected network. The 200 kilometer network links nature parks with residential areas throughout the island. Because we live so close to nature, there, there's always a trade-off, you know. I'm, I'll be sad if natural areas are eradicated. Well, the people that I bring on the trail, uh, they're very surprised that Lorong Halus uh, exists and they're quite surprised about the history as well. With a land area of just 680 square kilometers, 
Singapore has little choice but to be prudent about how the land is utilized and developed. We have been termed the concrete jungle always. So I think we need more green spaces. At least uh, it's pleasing to the eye. There is too much concern with uh, uh, about technology. Uh, so much so that they lose touch with the common activities. There are over 300 plants and full nature reserves located throughout Singapore. Lowell House is only one of them. Singaporeans who are interested in learning more about the great outdoors are encouraged to become volunteer guides for the Lauren House Trail. Dragons in Singapore? Yes, indeed. After the break, we visit one of the last two remaining fire-breathing dragons in Singapore. Thank <laughs> you.